Okay, last one, and this one comes from Jim D. out of Naples, Florida, fellow Floridian here, fellow West Coasty. Hi, Alan. I enjoyed your Honda Toro comparison. I bought a Time Master last year because of you. What a great machine. We moved down to Naples two years ago, and we are here full time. I note you are wearing long sleeves and have some serious neck and head protection. Is that something you could cover for us Southern guys, possibly in a future video? Thank you. I really look forward to your videos, Jim D. So I get this a lot because people think, man, Alan, what's with you, dude? You wear all these long sleeves all the time. You're all, you know, you're all bundled up all the time. Aren't you hot? So I will just say that the reason that I bundle up is because when I worked for True Green for many years, I had, I, I, I can't even count how many guys I knew that were older than me, you know, because True Green was around since the 70s, and there was a ton of guys, ton in the Chicago region that had been working for the company for 20, 30 years, 33, 35 years, guys that had started with the company, you know, back when they had these giant tanker trucks that they would drive around the city of Chicago, it was and spray like they'd do like 10, 15 lawns in a row. They would have every lawn on a, on a street would be a Kim Lawn lawn. These guys had been around forever. And a lot of those guys did not protect themselves from the sun. And they sprayed lawns in the sun for years. And so many of them would, would you know, now at the point I was working there, they were managers. They were my mentors, many of them. They were branch managers, general managers, region managers. People that taught me the business that I looked up to and worked with. And who and, and who I still you know have great respect for this to this day. These are great people, but these guys had worked so hard out in the sun for so many years that now they were having to go in periodically and have different skin cancer cut off of them. And I knew lots of guys, man. You'd see them. A guy would come in and he'd he'd have a band aid on his face and be like, "Oh man, you had to have something cut out, didn't you?" And they're like, "Yeah, I did." Uh, so that always hit home for me. Now I grew up here in Florida, and so my mom was always you know lathering us down. I was that kid at the Local pool, I'll ask this, any of you 80s kids, did you guys ever use a product called Zinca? And, and I don't know if you ever did. Zinca was all the rage when I was a kid, and I guess it was made from zinc, but it was a, you put it on your nose. Like, if you guys remember watching old, old, you know, 80s TV shows and they'd show a lifeguard, the lifeguard always had a white nose. That was that zinc product. And I don't know if people even use that anymore. I think technology is better now that you can put stuff on your nose to protect it on your face that's clear. But back then, that was what you did. You put this white stuff on your nose. Well, Zinca was the first to come out with multicolors. And I used to wear bright orange because I was a Gators fan. So I was the kid at the local you know, community pool in the summer in the 80s with my bright orange nose with Zinca on it because my mom would make me put that on there. And so Zinca, thanks to you guys, I don't know if you still make that product. <laughs> but Zinca, thanks for making it cool. Everybody had their own color that they would put on. So I had a mom that was really on that. She'd make us wear a shirt. I used to hate that as a kid. We'd go to the beach and she'd give me 30 minutes with my shirt off and then not put on a shirt. And there is nothing worse than trying to swim at the beach with a t-shirt on. It just, it weighs you down, but whatever. That's what I had. So I, as, as a kid, I was raised to be respectful of the sun. And then all these guys that triggering that I knew over these years, and I would see them getting stuff cut off of them as well as I have a good friend named Steve that also has had some challenges with having to have things cut off of his skin. And he's also a mentor to me and one of my best friends. And he always tells me, he, he runs a fishing channel on YouTube. And, and he always tells me, Alan, the sun is, you got to protect yourself from the sun. So that's what a lot of the long sleeves are in the hat. And I don't hardly ever go outside without a hat on. I don't show you guys, but I always lather my face and my neck and my ears with sunblock. I use you know, whatever the cheapest stuff, no ad is what I get. No ad is like, I think it's pretty, it's kind of a cool brand now, but when I was a kid, no ad was like the cheap stuff that you got on the bottom shelf at Walgreens, no ad. It might even be a Walgreens brand. I don't know, N-O-A-D, no ad. It's got no smell, no nothing. I, I slather down with that stuff. Again, they're not a sponsor, but it's just cheap and it works, right? I would slather down with that stuff and I still do to this day. The long sleeves, I will say I wear fishing shirts. In this video today, if you're watching on YouTube, I'm wearing a Columbia shirt. That's just because I can get them on Amazon really cheap, or actually there's an Amazon outlet over here in Ellington that I can go to, and I just get the clearance rack, whatever, whatever, cheap, and I don't have to care about them. But the thing about these shirts is they're vented, and, and the materials, that they're, they're all different materials, but the materials they're made of are also breathable. So actually outside, I wear a white 
fishing shirt almost all the time. And I'm actually staying cooler than those of you that wear a cotton t-shirt that gets sweaty and sticks to you. People always ask me, Alan, are you sweating in your videos? You look like you're never sweating. Well, actually I am, but the shirts breathe. They're white, number one, so you can't see. But they breathe, and they breathe well, and so they do actually dry out throughout the day. I mean, moisture wicking is a term or whatever. But they actually keep me cooler. So I'm actually much cooler in one of these long sleeve fishing shirts than I would be in a wet, hot, heavy cotton t-shirt that would give me no protection from the sun on my arms and my neck and all that. Now I wear the neck buff. I actually wear Columbia Freezer Zero. Again, not a sponsor. I wear that Freezer Zero because that whatever the material is that the Freezer Zero is made of by Columbia is the softest. It's so soft around your neck. It doesn't bother you. It, it doesn't feel like some of you think I'm wearing a scarf. I think you think of like this giant sweater scarf that you wore in Minnesota during the winters. That is not what that is. It's light. You can't even hardly feel it. It's airy. But what happens is as you sweat in it, all you have to do is get a little air on it during the day and that now it turns cool. In fact, I'll take mine off and I'll dump pour water on it and I'll wring it out and put it back on my neck and it actually helps to keep my neck cool while also keeping the sun off my neck. And then on the really hot days, and you guys saw this in a video recently, people said I look like a nun or something or I look like E.T. <laughs> all dressed up in Elliot's, Elliot's front basket there. But what I'll do is I'll pull it up over my ears and over my head because, man, even when I put sunblock on my ears, things get going. My ears burn, man. They just burn even with sunblock on them. So I'll put that that neck buff. That's what those are called, neck buffs. I'll put that up over to protect my ears and sides of my face from the sun along with the hat. Now, pants-wise, I wear long pants for the most part because I never know when I'm going to be spraying something and I, just, and I don't want to have to go change into PPE. But the other thing is the pants that I wear – are actually very comfortable in the heat and I don't notice it. And I wear, um, they're called, the name of the brand is 511 Tactical. And actually I'm gonna have to look up the, uh, the cut of the pants because I don't know if they make them anymore. Uh, hold on, I'll look it up here. Apex, it's the Apex pants. So I don't know what's going on with that company, 511 Tactical, super cool company. Again, they don't sponsor me. By the way, any of these companies that I'm mentioning here, if you hear this podcast and you want to sponsor me, I'll tell you what you can do is you can contact me, send an email to shop at the lawncarenut.com, but you're not actually going to sponsor me. I want no money from you. What I want you to do though is give out free samples to my friends in my Facebook group. So if you're one of these companies that I've been shouting out here, I doubt some of the ones are so large, they're not going to listen to me. But if you do and you want to get some good airplay, let's work a deal where you're going to send some free stuff to my friends in my Facebook group for my giveaways. And I will, I will shout your stuff out all over the place. Cause I'm already doing that. I already use it. So five, one, one tactical apex pant. They're thinner. They, they, they breathe well. Um, I like the way they look. They, they have good pockets. They got a lot of different pockets, by the way, if you're somebody that does conceal carry that, the, they work great for that. They work great for a lot of things. I have the ones I work with, but I also have some nice ones that I don't work in that I'll actually wear to church. I'll wear them to business meetings. They are that, and I found those from my fr same buddy, Steve. Pretty much most of the good stuff that I know about as clothing-wise comes from my buddy, Steve. He, for some reason, he, he knows how to recommend good clothing to me, but <laughs> kind of a weird thing, but that's what he does. But I will tell you that these Apex pants, they're awesome. You can wear them for dress or work, and those do not get that hot. Now, I sweat right through them and things like that, I don't ever put that on video, obviously. You guys don't want to see my swamp butt on, on my videos, but those are the pants that I wear. Now, as far as foot protection goes, I don't wear any type of foot-protected shoes. I have spray shoes that are all, they're Columbia, just because that's what I found, even though I need to get some new spray shoes. So that's something I'm going to be in the market for because these are worn out. But typically, when I'm going to be spraying, I try to get something that's got a little higher rubber sole and that at least has some sort of waterproofing around the toe in that. So I'm in the market to, to get a new pair of spray shoes, but basically what it is, they're shoes that I only use to spray in, whether it's Next Products, Chemical, whatever. I only use those shoes and I wear those with socks just as like is on the label. There are some products where you need to wear rubber boots, but I don't have any of that in stock right now. Everything I wear, the PPE for the shoes is just shoes plus socks. And then I always make sure to rinse them off when I'm done and I keep them in a special spot in the garage away from everything else. So that's what I do for shoes. But back to everything else that I'm doing, that's kind of how I keep safe from the sun, keep myself covered up and, and again, stay cooler. I, I challenge you to try it. Now, not all of the fishing shirts are made the same. Not all of them have the same material. And I will tell you that dark colors are not ones that you typically want to wear outside. That's just logical that dark colors are going to absorb a lot more heat than the light colors. So.